bot side. They put the map brightness down, yeah. I, I don't see shit. Sure. The early levels, I think, in the bottom side are the, like the most exciting this is gonna get. There's gonna be a little bit of poke out from Acrobat and not. Archony. Wow! Doing a very good job here, Cheru. Managing to punish Arjuni. We have mentioned this. It's so uh, dark. It They're inting. Has been played in the mid lane more oh in the my god, production. Uh, Come on, guys. The well Increase well, so the... It's the way, completely like dark. Into the mid side. So, I want to talk a little For me, bit brightness is fine. For me, it's... Kind of I mean, I could, I mean, it's fine, but it's way darker than normal. So much late game assassin damage that the I like it more like this, really. No, I don't like it. The game has it's too dark! My eyes! My eyes! Actually, like, it looks really like PC, like it's... The, the team fights are gonna be so hard to see, by the way, I don't like it. The team fights are gonna be kind of mad. This is so dark. That's my opinion, what's your guys' opinion? Do you guys prefer... Um... What they did yesterday? Ooh. Do you guys prefer the brightness from yesterday or from today? Can you make a poll so yesterday or today? What, what do you guys prefer, dark or bright? Okay, okay, okay. Maru, Maru, solo kill. And bot lane also almost got the kill. Very super low life. And that is disastrous. Noel counter picked the Renekton into that matchup. The dream was being able to Oh my god, Triplex, yeah, dude. Game. I already saw you got turned off. Bye. Sayonara. Sayonara, my friend. Yeah, Akali kill Renekton? I don't, I don't, you know, you know Renekton should win early game against Akali. Renekton should win early game against Akali. Akali is weak in the early game. So him dying already means it's a huge skill gap in the top lane. So, I did say Maru is the highlight. Okay, okay! Okay, they don't need an enabler if um, <laughs> Yasuo make plays like that. This is becoming just dangerous for Buriram. Then you try and trade back. Dominus popped here, but Maru still has a. I did highlight so Maru is gonna be the playmaker. That's why they did the respect yep. Riven ban so because they know Maru oh, is turbo cracked on Riven. He is cracked. Uh, He's insane on Riven. It's his. He literally every game he goes for Riven. And if Riven is not open, he goes for Renekton. But every time, if Riven is open, they will go for Riven. Because Maru is so strong on Riven. Let's see. Lloyd? <coughs> And of course, a look back in the mid lane as well. I mean, just doing all the work for himself. Cheru gets the knockout wow. and the ultimate. Yeah. The Yasu doesn't need an enabler. He's just gonna pro the belt, flash on top of them uh, with a tornado or something. Huh? Wait, what? They didn't show it. Maru with another solo kill. It's a top gap. It's a top gap, guys. It's Maru being cracked. Is that what you were asking me skill about? Gap. Yeah, you speeding. don't need a good team cop if you're just no, skill right. gapping them. Just we skill gapping them. Some, Easy, snowball. Right Easy, right. snowball, right. skill gap. Wait, bot lane died. I read again bot lane yeah, and they uh, didn't show us. Right? Oh, now we see it. Ooh, nice. And the final all attack to pick up the second kill. Good to bot lane inting. Lane. Bot lane inting. That's the standard. That's the standard, guys. We always know that bot laners are gonna int. Nothing special to see here, guys. Oh. Oh. They come with a four man squad to support Renekton now. Actually, Buri Rum is out uh, like out rotating. Um, KDF. Like, macro-wise, they're playing it better. Like, rotation-wise, Burium is playing it really well. They just got the free turret for nothing. Yeah, they're not trading here. Well, it's possible. KDF start to walk away. But Lee Sin so scary right now. Back in the brush waiting. He gets a good amount of damage on the threshold. Very yeah, nice. He tries to kick. Oh, the CC chain. Oh. Zeki's gone. And the final attack to get the kill. That's Zeki down. 
Cold and Feet keep Ooh, pushing here. Nice. He just wants to dive them under turn with tagged up, taking damage, pulled back by the feathers. Yeah, he tried to jump and then kick them back in. They managed to um, to the but he got blocked by the... The Thrash is playing really well. So far, Akali, gapping Renekton, but bot lane, gapping uh, KDS bot lane. And Aurelia is also playing pretty well. Uh, but they will see Acrobat going up to it. So Burry Rum know what's up. Here they come. They have the Scuttle Crab on top, on top of the shrine. So BRU start to walk in. Okay, again. nice wind wall. Good wind wall for him. He gets it. But look at the team fight. They have so much clock control. I don't know how they're going to team fight that way. Okay, Akali. Yeah, like I said, I think Burry Rum's team come is just better. Like, KDF needs to skill gap them. And I feel like Burry Rum's rotation so far. So for, ooh, nice! Uh, I swear, Burium's bot lane is much better than KDS bot lane so far. Like Varus, Thresh, pretty strong. I mean, obviously, Yumi and Saya are not the strongest early game. But Burium is like rotating really well, picking off people, they have good crowd control. Is it like their pickoff is really good? They have really strong team fight composition, a very strong team fight composition. Okay, they're gonna try to secure the mid turret. I think they're gonna get it. I mean, it is the Varus. He might be safe, but there's only so much he can get done against three members and the Rift Tower in the mid side. But team will They're 2000 gold behind. They're gonna try to get the top turret as well. Good rotation by KDF. Securing two turrets right here. So. Oh, not, we were a lot about not BBB, quite. Almost. Really in this game. I think if Saya just steps so they get it. But it's not yeah. First stage game with but she's defending mid lane. Uh, Nia, I think Saya should have stayed. They could have gotten it. Right. Uh, if Saya stays, they does a few auto attacks, they get the top to it. So yeah, Saya should have stayed. Bring in one of his old teammates, and you can see the practice. VVV, a huge part of those okay. team fights. Okay. 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 Yasuo's actually a chat. Yasuo's actually a chat. What the fuck? Start to see the impact of losing lane early. Nice combo, yeah, and they will get the uh, bot turret. Nice. So Yasuo is a chat. Yeah, Yasuo is a chat, but no now they will push mid lane. Let's see if they can. Oh, nice hook. Nice hook. Oh my goodness. Again, I think they can hold it though. Now Maru gets the death sentence initially, but not able to get the follow up crowd control. Top turret does fall during two to two. It's very close game actually you now. But I, I just feel like Burium has a way better team comp if they play it well, front to back, just group up. And KDF doesn't even have good sideline split push. So I think Burium is just gonna outscale or not. Like they have even... KDF, no front line. And they get countered by Croc Control. They have Singe, Varus, Thresh, Aurelia, Renekton. They have three frontliners and a lot of Croc Control. How do they ever reach the... Okay, I don't know. 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 Burium can... Oh, yeah, Thresh is so good. This Thresh is so good, by the way. A very slippery escape by Zeki stays ahead of the chains of corruption, which were blown there as well. So VVV doesn't have all. We're looking for a re entry angle here from Archie on by the top side, trying to get his way into the river, but not able to make his way in. Forced off. So much yeah, building Blade of the Room King when you're behind is in. He should have went for Black Lever first. So he's at least a little bit more tanky. He's playing the side oh! Line, Whoa! Ah, Thresh! What a chat! What a chat! Yo! And you guys are telling me playmaking supports can't carry? That's how you carry on playmaking supports. You don't need AP supports. Playmaking supports. Do plays like this and you're carrying the game. Tell me. Tell me if you play like this, you are not carrying the game on the playmaking support. You you don't need damage if you do plays like this. That was actually mega chat. Yo. Flash hook into lantern. Boom. Gets the kill. Uh, like Thresh is just roaming around and carrying the game right now. Like Buri Rom. What the? Jazz. He's insane. He's insane Thresh. And Triple V, despite the rough start to he the is game, an insane thresh, actually. Like you've mentioned, and so as okay, nice wind wall. Around the rift tower again. I don't know. Something to watch I don't think for. they. Ooh, I'll oh, renect this bot lane. Okay. Like They're just they giving it. As well. They're trading. I mean, Renekton's gonna secure the bot through it. Maybe. Uh, I think he's gonna take get two plates. 
<laughs> the place. Is not worth it. Uh, we do have is he gonna rush it though? No, he's going back. He, he went for the hard work though, interesting. Skewing back towards his team, but also him as a player. Noel has just been sitting in the sidelines farming up. I don't think he can do that. I think that's good. Still keeps him safe for he now. gets the flash, he exhaust by Saya. Ignite out by uh, Yumi as well. And the ADC without flash is way better than Singe without flash. Doesn't matter for him. Don't get anything out of it. They do kind of rebuff the efforts of Buriram for a moment, though. That pickup of the Rift Herald is going to be critical because it gives them a tool with which to fight around this next dragon. They can summon the Rift Herald, force Buriram to pay attention to that Rift Herald, and take a yeah, fight while they're Yeah, Buriram Thresh the plus Singe is insane pickup. And then comes the Renekton Sun. You never. The moment they catch you, if one of them gets uh, gets caught. He's dead. He, he's not going to be able to escape anymore. Too much crawl control. And remember, since second ability, you can't use flash anymore. Or any of your dashing abilities uh, when you are in or within the second ability of Singe. Yeah, just play front and back, try to pick up people. I don't know how KDF is going to try to team fight at all. He's far away and it's going to be difficult to get into I, I, I really want to see how KDS plays the team fight 5 level 5. Because I think Burium was way better team fight. Oh, wait what? Yasuo! Wait what? Yasuo is a Giga Chat! Do you guys see what Yasuo just did there? Do you guys see what Yasuo did there? Uh, he, he just pulls off a 3 man ultimate alone. Both junglers killed. That means this mountain drake is just going to be vibing for a moment longer, Grantham. And that's what happens when Acrobat's able to put out damage. We saw him fight in the choke point. But, I don't know. I don't know about that engage by Buriram. Like, using Renekton as the engage. Like, Flash, Stun, instead of using a Thresh or Singe as engager. Ah, Lee Kick. Yeah, 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 Lee Kick. Acrobat, the other side of that coin in those fights. Both AD carries, delivering... Well, I mean, the ultimate was good. The three-man ultimate, though. Final chapter. Because of the leak kick into into Yumi ultimate as well. Massive kick, massive kick, massive kick. And if he gets his damage online upon the completion of third item, those are two kills. That's three kills in the middle. Yeah, but going for that Lee there wasn't a good idea. And of course, while he is trying to hurt, while Triple V is trying to hurt now, physical damage or magic damage. The biggest one is psychic damage, TJ. True. But I I will pitch this KDF. If you're on their team, that's a good team fight. We're not trying to win. We didn't need to take that mountain drake. We just need to we stall go it out. And being able to bring it to a later point in the game helps them so much more here. Burium did get that mountain drake eventually, but it took yet more time. It bought yet more space for KDF to scan. Trying to isolate Cherry here this as they big. made their way down to the bottom side. The play will He's not gone. manage to land for now, but Noel eventually claims the kill credit for that one. His patience pays off. That's it, buddy. Uh, that's kind of the opposite of everything we were just talking about. Chera needs to be the Kara. Well, I mean, if I was Cheru here, okay, I would take psychic damage from that. I was by that brush for a very long time. It was waiting for me. And <laughs> no one they're gonna get the mid now. You need to know that. You are the Kara. Ooh, Singe, come on, thing. Oh, Singe. Singe, wait. He... Oh, nice kick. Nice kick. Nice kick, huge. Akali goes in. Yo, listen, listen, turbo chat kick. Vex, why are you not playing like this on listen? Why are you not doing those plays? Holy shit. Yo, 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 yo. That listen. Correct. Oh, and they do rush Baron. Every other team is like, nah, we don't want to go for Baron. They are like, boom, let's go for it. Let's go for it. What the Jess? What are you doing? He's going into the pit right now. Noel's coming in. They need to try and fight for this. How is Jess left alone for so long? The ignite onto Jess, oh! but he gets the kill onto Maru. Noel starts to walk in, does not have the dominance. But Baron's been reset and is still alive at this point. One Noel. more second on Conan feet. The teleports need to come in now. Fighting time in with the teleports into the back of the pit, into the side of the pit, but they get in and the Vanguard's edge finds that, that first kill. Wait, they're all dying for it. And now it's Acrobat going down in a prime. Wait, can they end the game? 20 seconds. 
after what the Jack stole it. And they end it? So Fifty. No, they can't end. They can't end. Well, they're gonna get to three. For twenty seconds, that could be game number one. I don't know if the waves are in position, but they're going to be able to take an inhibitor turret. An express path to the bot side, but they split up the attention to the mid lane and the bot lane. Maru's back. He needs to save the team for ten seconds. Fortification will be up, so it's going to be difficult to finish off the game here, but two inhibitors nonetheless. Furry run back off, take the two inhibs. What a play from what the Jess, what a play from Noel. Here's our Coca-Cola pop off and check this out. What the Jess, stolen for such a long time. I thought he was insane going over the wall, but he uses every part of his kit perfectly. He is insane. <laughs> he uses every part of his kit perfectly. Watch this lantern to keep himself alive through the ignite. And then he stays there on vision hovering while Noel flat, uh, kind of harasses on the opposite side and sets up again for Noel to go back into the pit. Noel gets down to his last 10th of HP stasis so he can be used is a ward for the teleport and the teleports come through and um, what do you know cold defeats in the middle of a half hp team it is his dream he is eating it is a feast and he's fed now he's no. well fed seven two and no, three no, no. feeds come Rush we talked so much about how maru and noel were the big difference makers and they have been but someone else that you have to factor into the equation has been cold and feed what a performance for cold and feed this game Oftentimes more of a support went for the Baron and they threw it about ganking his side lanes here Colden Feet is delivering us a stellar carry performance And the WCS WK WCK rivalry continuing starting with a bang delivers <laughs> on day two of icons Pressure in multiple lanes and now with the super minions pouring in it's gonna be almost impossible for KDF to turn this I say almost because Chera is quietly online now I suspect he has just completed his, I think it's going to be IE, his third item, Infinity Edge for the crit. Um, and there it is, yeah. So he is going to be so scaring in these fights now. KDF, despite everything, can win a team fight. Burry Room need to play this safe, leverage the fact they have total map control, leverage the fact yeah. that KDF can't... Okay, Elder's spot. I mean, Infernal, I did say... I did say Buri was a better team comp, so let's see if they can, like, Elder Dragon is going to decide the team for the game now. Elder Infernal Dragon. Of course, two dragons on BRU side. We're going to team fight for the game right here. Insane godly kick into Yasuo Ultimate. Only way. It's only way. He does not have teleport, and so I'm looking towards just now. If he's able to get But they have too much crawl control. They have too fucking starter. much crawl control. What do they do? Or does he start wandering over? So far, he's sticking up there in that top lane, which could be disastrous. He's, if he's not here with this fight when it starts, KDF will have a man advantage. KDF can easily win a 4v5. Like, but if I, I don't think Buriram um, has a problem to win well. this game right now. Like, Renekton can siege. They need to defend Renekton. Okay, they catch you. They catch the Lee here. Slowly but surely, but he decided to back away as he now finds the survives. Okay, Sinj. Exhaust coming in. Flash. Bombs done. He's dead. They take him down, Acrobat. And that's the team fight damage gone. That's Noel sliding in from the side lane with. Like I said, I I, I did say that, that team con was so. It's so scuffed. Like Buriam is such a solid team comp in comparison. It's so so much better. Dragon's range burns. Zeki doesn't have an easy way to clear the pit. This steal is going to be so hard, and he does need to steal it if there's any hope for KDF. The defensive line out here, Arjuni and Noel, stopping KDF from getting close to the dragon pit. They will not allow themselves a safe position. Oh, he tried. He almost found the tornado on Varus, but I don't think it would have mattered. Just to keep them up, Vanguard's edge over onto the back, and even with the final chapter, it only stalls BRU and a double nonetheless. Yeah, Zeki's dead. This should mean the elders easy. Chera still hovering in the mid lane, trying to clear the wave. As you should, as you have to. Cheru comes in here, but he's only got the knock up on the Jess. You might find the threshold, but okay. that's not much more. Teleport start to come into play. Spawn. The Wells walking in, dodges away from the shuriken flip, but the dragon's Dragon still reset. here. Oh, oh, oh. I think they might be able to still fight this. But look, look at the minions. Look at the minions, guys. Look at the minions. The minions might end the game. The minions might end the game. The minions might end. Look at the minions. Yeah, yeah, the minions. 10 seconds. The minions. Oh, actually, they have so many cannons. 
The minions? 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 Almost. But here comes BRU. They won the fights around the Elder like three times. And it looks like they'll have game number one as the stat boost from that Elder Infernal is so massive. So that's an interesting question here, TJ, in data entry. Sure. Does that count as and like it, like it's a like it's a KDS team comp relies on like insane <laughs> skill gapping. The reset where they teleported everyone but off of the if they don't skill gap or insane snow in the, like snowball insanely, they're not gonna win it. And Buri Ram, they have such a solid scaling team comp, play it front to back, have insane pick of potential. They have the crowd control against those assassins as well. What does KDF do? Like they had a few really good moments on Lisa and Yasuo, but. I don't know. I think the BRU team comp is just not good enough. To win the game at this point, two dragons and the elder now in their pockets. They get to try and pressure out the mid side. The only turret still up is the top side turret. Archney comes in to pull Zeki back. Chad will trying to stop them with the wind wall, but you can just see Jess running in so quickly now. He has a dead man's plate. Okay, He's nice hook again, but fresh. Fresh the playmaker. Well. Yeah, but fresh definitely MVP. Like, he had so many insane pickoffs, etc. So like, he did so fucking one. amazing. MVP, fresh for sure. As Korea continues, fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright.